horse. Stay in here, darling. This accent is one of those that you just can't quite figure out at first, but then it's just like, yeah, that sounds about right to me. Can't believe how much time my chores are taking up these days. With Granny Smith getting hauled off to jail after killing that kid, I've had to do her chores as well. Oh my god, Granny Smith got out. Objection. Why is the word day in quotation marks? I mean, if day off was in quotation marks, yeah, that would make sense. But this, I mean, push. This clearly ruins the entire episode. Zero out of ten. Try it again, guys. It's real. Come on. Also, the byline here is kind of misaligned, so it kind of looks like it's trying to escape from the rest of the title, as well as giving people with OCD just a migraine. The last chore on the schedule, schedule, schedule. Did she just say schedule? Did Rarity just make a pun? I know we're not farmers, but I'm sure Spike and I could handle things for a little while. Yeah, I have an idea. Just levitate all the apples off the trees like it did before. That'll save like days of work. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea, right? What? Aw, don't throw those away. Those are really cute, Rainbow Dash. What did you do to Tank? An indulgent hooficure. Hooficure, huh? Nice to know you got over your fear of them. Although if they couldn't fit Dashy in... Fun fact! Rarity has only started calling her Dashy this season. You do now, Dashy? Obviously, we're on a very tight schedule. Oh, I guess that's just how she says the word schedule. Okay, well, never mind then. An apple yak? Apple yak? No, not the yaks. Anything but the yaks. Not the yaks. Not the yaks. It makes sense that Rarity would have a pocket watch, since there aren't any actual wristwatches in Ponyville. Yeah, the real question is, where did she pull it from? Yeah, Pinkie Pie wants her hammer space back. That can't be sanitary. It's real! And all those dirty towels have to be clean. Because Pony- This feels more like a mystery episode than the actual mystery episodes. I love how it goes through a montage of her getting all of her tools together, but then it just looks like she fixed it all with duct tape. I mean, we all know that duct tape is best pony and can fix anything, but still, you know, it's a little weird. Wow, apple yak! No, not yet! Oh, William Anderson, I see what you did there. I see you there putting your little Mission Impossible stinger thing in there. Yeah, I see you doing the music thing. You're doing the cool thing. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, if watching Applejack fix plumbing counts as relaxing, then yes. I can think of someone who would enjoy that. Okay, real talk, I actually kind of like how this episode was building up to Applejack being right and it being okay to be a workaholic within reason, but then it just suddenly shifts at the end to being about work efficiency and getting an outside opinion. I mean, I think that's a pretty cool shift from what we expected. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I wonder what it said in the script for Ashley Ball to do here. Ah, yes, you need to imitate a car engine that's underwater that's trying to start up. It's all moist and it can't start up. Um, what about all those other crops in the field? I mean, this is a pretty small patch to begin with. I don't really know if you can really use this as a starting point for efficiency, guys. Multiple square meters of fence go to waste every year for, for the sake of cutting tight costs. <laughs> Me too. But yeah, this was an episode. It happened. Yeah.